All right, this may be you. Maybe you're trying to sell your house. Maybe your listing has become cold. Or maybe you're in the preparation phase. You're planning to put the house on the market, and you're wondering what you should include in your listing. Well, never fear. Mar Jennings is here. <laughs> He's a lifestyle correspondent with a license to sell. Good to have you here. Great to be back. Okay, so talk to us about this. Okay. We're talking about the listing that's going to go on Realtor.com, Zillow, all those different MLS. things. MLS. MLS, right. Okay, so it's so important to understand. Let's start off with the statistics. The National Association of Realtors stated that 96% of realtors, 96% of realtors believe that staging does help to sell. Okay, so that's a huge number. And they also agree that 10% over selling price as well. So wow. they're being noticed. So staging your house is really elevating your house to get noticed and to get buyers. Okay, so get us okay. started here. The first thing, you want to make sure that if you are going to stage, what do you think is the most important room you're going to stage first? Oh, that's a good question. Um, the no kitchen? pressure. No, actually okay. the kitchen's number two, it's your living room. Oh. Now ideally you want to do the entire house, but if you have just limited budget, yep. you want to make sure you focus on the living room, the kitchen, followed by the master bedroom. Okay. okay, I would never have guessed that order. All right. And you're also going to want a great lead-in photo as well, because mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're branding the house, and you have to be consistent when you brand the house. Okay. Put your best foot forward. Don't put the front of the house that needs a paint job or something like that, correct, right? Correct, yeah. correct. Good point. You also want to make sure that you do appropriate repairs. Now, when I say repairs, I'm not talking about if your ceiling needs to be repaired or you need a new roof. Clearly, if you price it correctly, you price it taking that into consideration. Okay. The biggest issues come when the doorknob falls off, oh. when the <laughs> light switch is broken. Because you're thinking if your front door doesn't work, right. then the whole house must have it's secrets. It's the details. If the small stuff is broken, it really leads buyers to think there's greater issues behind. So often you look at these photos, and you know I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> I know you are. Uh, I, I'm not even buying or selling. I just love looking. Um, clutter turns me off instantly. You know, I want it to, we, we've gotten so used to HGTV. We want everything to look like well, that. We're if educated. It doesn't, yeah, right. We're so much more educated than ever before right. and there's higher expectations because now we're watching all these shows yeah. and we're learning from the best of the best. And we know that we can have that too. Get rid of the clutter. It's easy to do. Pack your stuff up, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. What are vignettes? You talk about vignettes. What do you mean by that when it comes to staging? Vignettes are when you create a cluster of beautiful things that creates a lifestyle. Two to three items together. For example, you make a beautiful bed, you put a breakfast tray on there and a little bouquet of flowers. Okay, so it sort of it makes us think, oh, that could be my breakfast in bed. Someone it's going to bring Correct. me or it makes you visualize which buyers don't necessarily know how to do that's why it's our job to make sure that we get them to see themselves in the house and another way to do that is you have to depersonalize it you okay. have to remove the personal element such as family portraits yes yes okay? you, you love them pack them away and take them to your next place yeah. absolutely and also signs of pets now the yep. only time you want to promote that you have a pet okay and generally it's a dog or a pretty cat bowl is if you're in a condo or if you're in a place that is questionable whether or not you can have a pet then oh, you create the a little vignette with the dog bowl the doll basket and definitely a little toy and hopefully this will get your ad to stand out from the rest right most definitely All and right. the last one I just want to mention is that you definitely want to put your best foot forward so imagine the most important person in your life your mother-in-law your husband someone's coming to visit you oh, that's normally mm -hmm. not there what would you do you to make a really fantastic impression that's your mentality when it comes to a buyer as well okay really good there tips. a it. lot of people can put it to practical use check out marjennings.com for more thank you so much you're very welcome We're